2018 Jaguar XJR575. What you see in the 2018 Jaguar XJR575 is pretty much what you get. This full-size sedan is Jaguar's next performance icon, bookending the brand's lineup at the opposite end of the size spectrum from the F-Type SVR Coupe and Roadster, settling into territory currently occupied by the Audi RS7, BMW Alpina V7 and Mercedes S63 AMG. There's nothing complicated about the things that separate the XJR575 from its more courteous XJ brethren, either. As it is with factory tuned hot rods like the S63, et al., the 575 adds horsepower, more aggressive suspension tuning, and a bolder, dare we say, racier finish. The long wheelbase XJR575 is not, officially, a product of Jaguar Land Rover's special vehicle operations, which since its establishment in 2014 has turned out production models like the F-Type SVR and Ranger Rover SVRs and SVAs. Still, its 5.0-liter supercharged Gen 3 AJ V8 is essentially identical to that in the F-Type SVR, generating 575 pkhp, bingo, and a maximum 517 pounds to foot of torque. That's 50 horsepower and 15 pounds to foot more than last year's XJR and 105 horsepower and 93 pounds to foot more than Jaguar's standard, V8 powered XJL supercharged. This XJ gets the ZF sourced, 8 speed to work converter automatic that's used across Jaguar's lineup, purpose tuned for the 575, and an electronically managed active differential. Its coil springs are firmer than those in the XJL supercharged, and peak damping rates in Jaguar's adaptive dynamics variable rate shocks are higher. All told, the performance enhancements in the XJR575 make for one screaming land yacht. Jaguar reports a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.2 seconds and top speed of 186 miles per hour. The 575 looks the part. Its mesh grille, lower air intakes and front splitter are gloss black, and its side sills are stretched outward. There's a subtle but obvious spoiler at the trailing edge of the rear deck and two SVO colors, satin coarse grey and velocity blue, reserved exclusively for the 575. Its brake calipers are bright red, and they're visible through 20-inch gloss black, split-spoke wheels wrapped with staggered width washer profile Pirelli P0s. There are also some updates that apply across the XJ line, including a larger, tablet-style touchscreen inside, 10 inches diagonally versus 8, a revised motor-assisted steering rack and stereo cameras pointed forward from the back of the rear-view mirror. The cameras and electric power steering enable a range of new safety technologies like lane keep assist and lane departure warning with active steering intervention traffic sign recognition and park assist electronics for both parallel and perpendicular parking. Of course, the new drive assistance apply only to rear drive XJs. Those with all-wheel drive continue with the conventional hydraulic power steering pump they've used since the car was introduced for 2009, their front differential leaves insufficient space for the rack-mounted steering motor. The XJR575 should be available across the United States and Canada before the end of 2017, starting at $122,400 before the $995 destination charge. That's $26,000 more than a 470 horsepower XJL supercharged but $25,000 less than a 603 horsepower, turbocharged Mercedes S63. Given its engine, colors and general finish, it's not precisely clear why the 575 isn't an official SVR from SVO, but that means at least one thing, there's still room in the XJ line for an even more powerful SVR. Meantime, and into summer 2018, the XJR575 will remain Jaguar's most potent sedan. Sometime before fall, SVO is expected to release the first of 300 compact project dates with an anticipated 600 horsepower, 